Okay, this is the one magnet no bearing Bedini spinner. What I've got there is a diametrically magnetized or radially magnetized magnet. So we have north and south. In the bottom, I've got a ball bearing. I've got a pill cap here with copper coil wrapped around it, bifiler coil here, and I'm using the um, a very modified Bedini circuit. Um, which is a 10k potentiometer and you can use a 1 or a 5k I've got a 100 ohm resistor the transistor is a 2N2222 and off the collector of that I'm using a LED which was an idea from LED motor which really helps you to tell when the circuit is being pulsed um, as the circuit's pulsed, that lead pulses, and so you can tell when it's switched on. Now, the magnet can be a little tricky to spin up, and I'm going to do that here. I'll first energize the circuit, and I've got to spin this magnet up. Oops, the camera's in the way there. Needs to get a good spin up. There we go. And now that's being pulsed and starting to spin. Now I think what the coil wrapped around the pill bottle does is um, every time the bifiler coil is pulsed, it passes that pulse on to that tertiary coil, which sets up a magnetic field around, uh, around the magnet and stops the magnet from straying off and it does put a little bit of a load on the magnet but it uh, definitely keeps it within its little cage and of course if it starts to gyrate or uh, you know occasionally I get a little bit of metal particle fall onto that pill bottle and it just sticks on there I've coated it with olive oil and if the magnet hits that and starts to oscillate, then it will break through that magnetic field and jump off. Um, but for the most part, I can spin up the magnet without the stem out the top. And uh, I'm using a 1.5 volt battery. I wouldn't use anything more than about 3 to 5 volts, otherwise I'll blow that lead. But for low voltages, this is fine. Okay, I just wanted to show you um, a way to stabilize the spinning magnet on this little Bedini spinner. Uh, a lot of people that use these systems have troubles with the spinning magnet um, oscillating and eventually making its way um, off its platform or moving into the, into the coil. Okay, so I've got it to spin up, and you can see it starts to oscillate, jitter around there. I've got a little hematite sphere here. I'm going to attempt to attach it to the side of this magnet. Now, one of two things is going to happen here. It's either going to slingshot away and become a missile, or it'll attach itself nicely. You can see it's jittering around. It's attached itself now. Now watch the mag magnet stabilize. As it increases in speed, it becomes still. So just adding that little weight on the outside of the rotating magnet seems to have stabilized it. And I discovered this totally by accident, as usual, when uh, I was testing a little satellite magnet on the main spinner and it leapt out of its container and attached itself to the side of that. Okay, so something to think about. Um, I do have it sitting on a slightly concave surface and there is a single wound coil around this pill bottle which is pulsed every time the bifiler coil, uh, bifiler coil is pulsed which sets up a magnetic field 
around the uh, spinning magnet. So just something to think about there if you're trying to stabilize that main rotor magnet.